on Rough Canada. And what I think I really um, admire about uh, Wikipedia is that they take truth seriously, but also I think the process of um, the very laborious process of editing pages kind of demonstrates a quality about truth um, that Oscar Wilde, I think, really captured well with one of his beautiful af aphorisms, which is, um, the truth is rarely pure and never simple, right? So while I think in some cases we can raise our hands and go, oh my gosh, there's these climate change deniers, or wow, I can't believe some people can't see the truth, or they're misled. In fact, both convincing people of the truth, arriving at the truth, is a really difficult enterprise. It's difficult in science, um, it's difficult in journalism, and it's difficult for Wikipedia as well. And I think one of the reasons, again, why Wikipedia has become a kind of bastion uh, for truth and people trust it is precisely because you can see the process to get there. And that's a really big deal. You can't even see that with trusted newspapers, right? How did they necessarily get to this story? Why did they get there? Why are they using these sources? Yeah. That kind of conversation's not there. So that's one element. And while I do think you know, many of us do trust um, leading newspapers like the Washington Post, New York Times, and so on and so forth, I think there still is something different about a nonprofit and many projects um, who's producing this material. Because in the end, you're doing it for the sake of the project. People are not getting paid. You don't have to make money off of it. And this kind of um, is one of the reasons why I think there is integrity in the project, and people also feel that way as well. One of the things I always joke is I wish the New York Times would occasionally write the neutrality of this article has been disputed. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, to acknowledge, right, as we acknowledge quite clearly, like, actually, we're still struggling, we're, we're grappling here. system, we're an intensely political social technical movement. And um, for me, the affirmation about being truly global is an affirmation, and it is an intention, but I also want to remind us that for most of the world, it is the now, it's not the future. 75% of the population that is online today is from the global south, and if anyone has got their bingo cards, Global South, there. I gave it to you. Um, that 75% is not represented online, um, on the internet, through their knowledge, through their histories, through the design and architecture of the internet, and unfortunately, certainly not on our projects yet. And so, even as we think about the future, I think about the now deeply, and what are the ways in which we can bring our communities, both on Wikipedia who are already on Wikipedia and those who still need to be on Wikipedia, together in this strategic direction of infrastructure and service. I really like the fact that we're talking about it as infrastructure because I think there's a way in which we need to move from seeing ourselves as product and being in service, as you said earlier, Catherine, to the world. We are in service to the world about and through free and open knowledge and we are in service to each other to bring ourselves online in the fullest way possible. So that's the hope and aspiration I see. Don't forget to register for the showcase. Uh, my name is Alea. My name is Marek Stelmasik, I'm from Poland. Uh, my name is Ivo Grosomagi. I work in the Estonian Wikipedia. Ciao, Nathan. So I'm very excited to be taking forward some of the methodology and ethos of AfroCrowd um, in the UK over the next few months. And I'm the here as the fifth Wikimania already. I think uh, this one is like fifth one already. So what he found was that women editors are not focused on female biography pages only. 
Um, so it is not like you can just automatically assume that when you get more women to Wikipedia, this means that you will get more content on women on Wikipedia. It's also about how we reach people who are not currently coming to the Wikipedia websites, right? Who are not who the browser for whom the browser is not the primary way they communicate and access information in the world. We have created a, a huge media repository, the Commons, which has almost 41 million files. But sadly, less than 0.1% is video content. Uh, just think how many times a day you have watched video when you scroll down your news and your, your Facebook news feed or entering a, a news website. Again, if we look on English Wikipedia, for example, out of more than, um, more than 5 million articles, again, only 0.1% uh, zero, uh, zero contain any video clips. Uh, I have to say this is the first Wikimania where my podium looks like a shrine to some <laughs> sort of untimely demise of a pop star or something, I'm not sure. Uh, so uh, this is a, a, a long time tradition um, and I want uh, everyone to stand up uh, who has been to at least one Wikimania, which uh, as of today you can all say you have. <laughs> Now, if you will sit down, uh, how many of you have been to at least two Wikimedians? And three Wikimedians. Four, five, oh, sorry, five, six. How many have been to seven Wikimedians? Eight, nine. How many people have been to at least ten Wikimedians? Wow. Uh, Eleven? Uh, Christoph had to sit down, but it's great. How many have been to 12? To 13 Wikimanias. Woo! There's one more. Um, as you know, the, the, the ultimate goal of uh, the Wikimedia movement of Wikipedia is uh, free knowledge for every single person and goat <laughs> on the planet. Um, I actually have no idea how this started. But it's the Germans, I know, I'm sure. You didn't have to tell me that. Um, but, uh, you know, we, we're, we're still having an amazing and growing impact around the world. And this number, um, I just found out this number in the board meeting uh, when I arrived. Uh, 1.4 billion devices. Now it's really hard to get from that number to the number of devices. Yeah! <laughs> 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 I saw I heard just now.